Um, thank you for being here. I am very excited to bore you for the next three and a half minutes about data, the most sexy topic in the world in my opinion. Um, I really want to quickly define what zero-party data is. Not many people here might, not, might know what zero-party data is. It's a relatively new term coined by Nielsen about two years ago. Put simply, it means consumers voluntarily sharing their data for value back. It is unprecedented in my opinion because for the last 15 years we've lived in a world where we've given Google, we've given Amazon, we've given Facebook our data for nothing except for our personalized ads which we all love obviously. And I think it's a pretty awesome concept that now there are a lot of companies that are starting to try to generate data but by giving some portion of revenue, some portion of the money they make back to users. This is really hard data though to get. Even companies like Facebook, for example, haven't set up a value exchange for this type of data yet. But in my opinion, it will likely dominate the next 10 to 15 years. The reason why is pretty simple. You know, we're right now seeing the biggest push in privacy ever, ever. The last time we ever had a push this great was the late 90s. And after 9-11, everything changed. The momentum we made on privacy took a step back for right or wrong, whatever it is. I'm not here to chat about politics, but I'm here to say that right now you need to be paying attention to a privacy conscious future. Whether it's ad blockers that are on the rise globally, whether it's paid ads losing effectiveness. There are companies today that are literally paying Facebook to retarget their own audience on Facebook. It's maddening, but people are doing it. You have the issue of Apple changing up their IDFA and making it so that mobile app developers now cannot track people in the same way they could two years ago. You have cookies that are going away on Chrome next year and are already gone on Safari and Firefox. I'm not here to say Armageddon is here, but it sounds pretty darn close. How bad exactly is the problem? Well, about 55% of companies right now say they're not ready for a cookie-less world. 81% of companies that Twilio surveyed in their state of consumer engagement report said that they're heavily dependent on third-party data, on data that is sourced from people in probably an unethical way, and if not unethical, in a way that does not benefit them directly. So. How do marketeers currently generate zero-party data? There are a couple of methods. I think number one most traditionally is surveys, right? You've gotten a bunch of surveys probably in the mail, Air Canada, Starbucks. You probably looked at that saying, I am not excited to do this. But some surveys do actually give you something at the end. So that is a form of them generating zero-party data by going to you and getting your opt-in interest, your opt-in preferences, and giving you something back for it. You also have giveaways, whether you're Formula One fans, you enter sweepstakes and you're able to share your data for something back. You have web apps and you also have a browser extension like Surf. And very quickly, we're compensating people for their data. We have a browser extension that you can download, you can share your data anonymously, and you're able to get points for it just for browsing the web like you normally do. And that sort of anonymous, anonymized data is what we're then able to package and sell to brands. So I'm very excited about this space. I think it will likely become more and more popular, especially next year when cookies go away. And so I'll see you guys in a cookie-less future. Thank you very much.